Hello, and welcome to a Dippin' Dots how-to video for setting up an Evolution vending machine. The first thing we'll have to do is open the front door. This is done by twisting the handle on the front of the vending machine to the left until it releases and begins to come open. Now we can open the door. Next, remove the paperwork and setup guide. You can use this along with the video for help. Now we have to remove the packing material from the robot using a pair of wire cutters. Simply snip the zip tie, which will release the bottom packing material, and then we can remove the piece of foam from the top. Now we'll move the robot to the side and we'll remove zip ties located right here and right here. They're a bit hard to see on the video, but in person, they're easy to spot. When cutting the zip ties free, remember to be careful not to cut anything else except for the zip tie. Once that's done, we'll now remove the two zip ties on the back of the vending machine to release the power cord. With the power cord free, we can now attach the power cord into our power source. Now we have to manually turn on the power to the vending machine. This is done by a switch that's located just behind the freezer in the vending machine. Now that we're powered up, we can open our inside access panel and we'll turn our display toward us for ease of use so we can work the keypad and see the display. And now we unbox our vacuum pump. Now that the vacuum pump is unboxed, we have to lower it by pressing the down key on our pad here. While pressing the button on the down key, take your hand and help feed the vacuum pump wire down through this chute. Now that that's done, we can attach our robot. On this, there's a pin here that will go into a slot that is located on the cord for the vacuum pump. It'll only go in one way, so make sure that these are lined up. To attach it, simply line up the slots, plug it in, and then finger tighten on the nut. Now we'll go back to our keypad, and we're going to use the up key to retract our vacuum pump back into the robot. Our next step will be setting the prices for our individual choices. To do that, we press the VAC key. This will unlock the keypad. With that, we're going to press pound and then select the bin. In this case, we selected A1. Its price is already set at $3. However, we're going to show you how to program a price. Once you select your bin, you type in the amount that you would like to set it as and then press pound key. This locks in the price. And now we have to manually check all of our bins to make sure that they are set. Using the star key, we'll cycle through the options on the keypad until we reach the bin setting. The bin setting reads like this, number 22, verify all bins.
we'll press the pound key in order to start this process. Once the pound key is pressed, it begins to activate the verification process. It will start with the first program bin, in this case A1, and lower the robot to the according bin. As you can see, it's not properly in place. What we have to do for each individual bin is place the robot in a place where the vacuum pump will meet the bin. You can use your chart that's included in your paperwork to help you do this. Also, it's important to make sure the vacuum pump is located directly in the middle of each bin you're programming for. Once you have it in the right place by manually moving the robot, you'll press the pound key in order to program that location. The robot will then go into action and manually go to the next bin it's designed for. You'll repeat this process for each individual bin inside the freezer. Your display will tell you which bin that it's going for. Once your bin locations are programmed, we can then flip the display back to the outside and close the inside access. Following that, we simply shut the door, making sure no wires are going to be caught up in the process. To shut the door, you just turn the handle to the right until it goes all the way in and locks into place. Once the handle's secure, press it in. To know that your door is shut properly, check your display to make sure that it is in bend mode. Next, we'll retrieve our keys out of the coin return slot. It's important to check to make sure that the keys do open the lock. So just put it in, turn the key, and make sure that it pops out. Next, we'll move on to leveling the machine. As you can see, our machine is level, but we do have a wobble. This means that our legs are not properly set. To do this, we recommend that you use a 1 and 3 8 wrench. Here at the shop, we use a 1 and 3 8 socket, so we have to manually lift the machine. Once the machine is up, we can place our socket on the leveling legs and we can turn it in the proper direction. In this case, the leg is too far in, so we're moving it out to the point to where it will sit level and we will not have any rocking. As you can see now, we no longer have a rock on our machine and it is still level. You may have to repeat this process with the legs several times in order to get it perfectly level. Remember, it's also important to allow the machine to reach negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit. We recommend letting it run overnight in order to achieve this. Thank you very much for watching.